are now in Rome. We are in Vatican City with a million other people. <laughs> it is so crowded here. Look how beautiful that is, right? And the fountains too. It's awesome. So we got up at three o'clock this morning because the airport we went to was an hour away and we had to be well about 45 minutes away we are in the basilica wow oh my goodness this is massive This is one of the most powerful things I've seen. This line of toes worn down the centuries of pilgrims who traditionally touch the foot. Wow. This is St. Peter. These are people are just coming just to touch his feet and he bowed their head. Wow, what an amazing view. Look at all that red tile out there. Absolutely amazing. So we have these little audios. They're special numbers. We put the number in and we can listen about what the statues or what the maps or what the portraits or paintings or tapestries or whatever are. But this is absolutely amazing. Wow. Look at all right, we're in front of a gelato store. What what plaza is this? All the plazas kind of blend together. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Piazza Navarro. Navarro something. Whoa. Okay, this is my first gelato. It's three flavors. It's milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and then that green, disgusting one is pistachio. It's so good. Then you put a little dollop of vanilla on. It looks like lemon, but how yummy. Oh, wait, can you hold this? Because I gotta film my first bite. All right, a little bit of chocolate and a little bit of pistachio. Mmm, bellissimo! <laughs> or whatever language this is. <laughs> Fountain of Neptune right here. It's a huge plaza. All these little shops, cobblestone, the Pantheon, oh my gosh, look how cute this little plaza is. It's just darling, everywhere you look. Let's go take a look inside. I'm not quite sure what the Pantheon is. Tomb. I don't think it's a chapel. I'm not sure, but the architecture is absolutely mind blowing. Look how beautiful. And hello, look at the ceiling. Amazing. Wow. The Treve Fountain. Seriously? Amazing. And slightly bigger than the one in Vegas. All right, there's my coin. Oh wait, but I can't throw with my left hand that far. You think I can? <laughs> it's kind of far. <laughs> oh yeah, I made it. <laughs> my left hand's like, oh. Awesome. I know, did I say whistle like right when I did that, huh? We have made it to the Spanish steps, which looks so beautiful. 
at night time with all the lights. And then there's an awesome fountain right here in front. So they just made a new law. <laughs> Some of these laws are ridiculous. Like no Ubers in Rome. Maybe that's a little bit more important because of the, there's so many people and there's so little space. But one of the new laws for the Spanish bed is you cannot sit on the Spanish steps. And if you notice, oh, where did he go? Oh, right there. He's, there's a police officer. Right, uh, grab, where is he? Right there. He's making sure no one sits down. So what if you kind of go like this and like lean down? <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> I don't want to try it. <coughs> yes, I'm still very sick. We made it to the top. It's a great view. Look at that street. That's amazing. But I love this. This church is so beautiful. Good morning. <laughs> Look at this view. We're at Gianni Cola, Coli, Gianni Coli view. Walking down a little bit to get a different view, but look at this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Wow, we are at the Coliseum. It's massive. How amazing these sculptures and architecture is. All right, we walked in, had to climb a gajillion steep, steep stairs. But before we go into the Coliseum, I found all of this, which is really cool. I mean, this, oh my gosh. Can you even imagine? So walking around the outside of this historical building. Oh, there you can see a little peak. We're just not there yet. Here's some of the stairs where it's been corroded. Or maybe it was from the earthquake. I'm not sure. It is so huge. It is so impressive. I mean, they got 50,000 people in here. It's crazy. There are several different areas that have stuff like this that are just reinforcing it. It's in several different areas, it's unstable. <laughs> That's why down there on the floor, they're like redoing it where all the underground tunnels are and stuff. So I was just reading a little bit more about it. And like I said, that holds like 50,000, if not a little bit more, where they have, um, they do reenactments of battles or they'll do gladiator stuff. On. And the reason why it got ruined was there was a large major earthquake and then thieves would steal the stone, stone thieves. Is that crazy or what? Like I didn't have any idea that that's what would happen. So I guess after the earthquake, you know, a bunch of things were ruined and people just came and stole stones. Oh no. That was the one we stood in for two and a half hours. That sucked. Check out this view. There it is. Wow, so we went across the, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> we went across that grass area up this little hill. So now we're over by, oh gosh, Palantine Hill and, I can't remember, something else. This is a lot for my little brain. There's so many places, so much to see. It's pretty awesome. So I was walking through there and I would keep stopping and like looking around 
and trying to envision like the gladiator movie or something, you know, to remember how they were sitting and what was going on. And, but it is so much bigger in real life. It's massive. The most important square in Roma is the Royal Forum. <laughs> This area is so huge and they're renovating so much of it, which is great. Just walking down one of the steps and saw this. Kind of crazy car. And the cool these stairs are and the brickwork everywhere. This actually kind of reminds me of when I was in Philly and it was at penitentiary. <laughs> it's all old and run down. It's not as old, but kind of has that same vibe. So this is pretty interesting. They're saying that it wasn't steps. It looks like just a gradual incline with vines and grass statues. So there's that. And here's this. Up on Palantine Hill, where a bunch of buildings, homes, ruins. It's so pretty up here. You can see in the window, in the paintings on the ceilings and the walls. The marble flooring. Wow. Could not miss the opportunity to stop off at the Rome Temple. It is absolutely gorgeous, and these grounds are beautiful as well. If you could notice, let me see if I can get it a little bit better to the lighting. There are these flowers, stained glass flowers in the window. It's absolutely breathtaking. All right, I'm a little closer. Can you see that? Those flowers, they're kind of peach. Uh, they're not quite pink, they're more peach. So beautiful. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, here is a replica. And it looks like on all the stained glass that they have these flowers. If you can see it. <laughs> but then check this out. It shows the inn. Oh. Oh, it just gives me chills. <sighs> Baptismal font. You make your way up the stairs and wait in the chapel. The first room for your initiatory, to the second room, to the celestial room, and ceilings on the top. Okay, we've been here for like an hour and a half. We were talking with all the sister missionaries, which was awesome. And then we were looking at, we watched a cool video and we were looking at this big, huge picture thing. They have all these symbolisms and like hidden pictures in. But now we come back out to the temple and it's like at dusk and the lights are on. It's so beautiful.